Good afternoon, my name is Susan Key. I'm a Korean American writer and Korean War historian. I am devoted to honoring Korean War veterans and families of Korean War fallen heroes. It is a great pleasure for me to extend this message of gratitude to all of you on the 16th annual Korean War Veterans Appreciation Luncheon hosted by Mrs. Bertling and her uh, Legacy for Korean War Veterans organization. I had the great pleasure of meeting Mrs. Bertling several years ago and have been happy to financially help support this annual luncheon for all of our Korean War veterans. I'd like to first start with a little bit of background on my family stories from the Korean War. Uh, my grandfather and my father's family have been living in Pyongyang, North Korea for many generations, uh, even before the Korean War. And when the North Korean communists took over, uh, North Korea in 1948, life changed drastically for my uh, father's family. Uh, the North Korean communist regime confiscated my grandfather's uh, land that he had owned for many generations in his family. And it was a sizable amount of land that they had owned that they, that they lost overnight. Then very soon after that, the North Korean uh, communist regime started killing Christians and my grandfather and my father's family were all Christian. And so they feared for their lives and also uh, were not willing to lose their faith in Christ. So they decided to flee North Korea in 1949, a year before the Korean War started. And so they fled to South Korea. And then when the war started, my father uh, enlisted in the South Korean army and he was assigned as a Katusa. Korean augmentation to the U.S. Army, to the U.S. Army's 3rd Infantry Division. And he fought uh, alongside Americans uh, for the duration of the war. And he absolutely understands and appreciates uh, our Korean War veterans uh, for what you have all uh, risked as well as sacrificed to save South Korea and its people. Now, regarding my mom, uh, her family was in Seoul, South Korea when the war broke out. And when the Chinese communists were coming down in the January 1951, they decided to flee Seoul. So uh, they were on foot with all of their belongings as they were fleeing south. And uh, she remembers a day when she heard a buzzing of a plane in the sky. And she looked up and saw an American star on the side of the plane. And at seeing that American plane, she thought, wow, the good people are here to save us. And that um, sentiment of gratitude still rings true to me even today. So then I was born uh, after the Korean War uh, in 1966 to a free nation of South Korea thanks to all of you who helped save my parents and their families and the country of South Korea. I was born to a free country and then in 1975 we immigrated to the United States and uh, we pursued the American dream like all immigrant families uh, do. And so I uh, went to college and went into the corporate world. And uh, 10 years ago, in 2012, uh, my uh, direction totally changed for the better, thanks to God. Uh, I had been feeling that my uh, corporate career uh, was not fulfilling. And so um, after a lot of prayer and soul searching, I felt that God was telling me that I needed to do something about what I'm most grateful for. And that is my freedoms and the fact that I was born to a free South Korea. And so I decided to seek out Korean War veterans uh, in the state of Arizona where I live and in other uh, states. And then I also started to seek out families of fallen heroes, especially uh, those who are still missing in action. And so over the past 10 years, I've had the great honor and pleasure of interviewing, learning from uh, the stories of our Korean War veterans and families of fallen and capturing those stories and making them known on social media because I felt that the Korean War uh, is uh, seldom talked about and uh, most of the public do not know very much about the Korean War. So I want to make sure that the Korean War is no longer forgotten and that the legacy that you all have given us of this free and prosperous country of South Korea is never forgotten. This is truly a forgotten victory uh, in terms of what the outcome of the Korean War is. South Korea was saved 
millions of South Koreans live in freedom today because of your service and because of your sacrifices. And that is a legacy uh, that needs to be always remembered and honored. So I will continue to devote myself to this work of honoring our Korean War veterans and fallen heroes uh, and their legacies. So today, I want to congratulate Mrs. Spurtling on another wonderful annual luncheon for our Korean War veterans. And I thank her for all of her devotion and hard work. And I thank all of you, most of all, for what you have sacrificed, what you have suffered, what you have endured, and what you have risked to save my family and the people of South Korea during the war. We can never thank you enough. So we thank you and honor you forever. May God always bless you, and may God always bless the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. 감사합니다.